This episode of Super Boca Bros is sponsored by Squarespace, the place to go to for setting up your own slick looking website. To cut to the chase, we crashed a new DJI avatar. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, 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 ah, break, break, break. Twice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's quick. <laughs> and then switch it, in, switch it to end mode. <laughs> Before the chase, this is what happened. Oh, we got a brand new product from DJI. It's called the DJI Avatar. And it's in this ominous bag. Oh, it's quite, it's, it's tilt. Oh, sorry, it's tilt. Oh. Yeah, oh, oh. Well, this, that was just a visual, visual joke there. That was funny, wasn't it? Super funny. Anyway, anyway, oh, <laughs> it's steep. Let's show you what's inside. Yeah, top secret stuff. So I had to hide it in a granny shopping bag. Let's show you the boring stuff first. Controller, standard, pretty similar to usual stuff. Uh, oh, charge, I don't, why not bring the charger? <laughs> USB-C cable. Oh, uh, come on. Yeah, Already. let's stop, let's stop teasing. There's no, not much other stuff to show off. There we are. That's the avatar. Not spelt in the same way as those blue things. And much better. Yeah, much better. That's a really rubbish movie. Anyway, this is the avatar. You can see it's got prop guards, but uh, with this stick as well. So you know, it is an FPV. Ooh. So we've got to get this ready. Let me show you this first. This is newer than the previous one. This is a bit smaller, a bit lighter. I guess it's to go with this smaller, lighter drone. So the, the aerial is a, a connected already and you just flip them up. The previous ones, you had to screw them in and they had four of them. So you look like some kind of Japanese anime character um yeah so you still need to have the battery here which is why i've got a vest on it's not because i've got some kind of top gun fetish it's like okay, eject eject that's that's a lot different than top gun well yeah i'm colorblind so no not really <laughs> but <laughs> people will put that on a uh, wikipedia or something but this strap i think i quite like this so to adjust it you just Pull it, and then like that. It's like uh, Apple Watch. Because the previous one, though, it's, it's sort of heavy enough that when you've got it on your face, it sort of you can feel the weight of it pulling it down. This is a lot lighter, uh, but still, it's going to be problematic if you wear glasses. You definitely cannot fit that on with glasses. Okay, was it better with glasses last the last one? It just about fits. The brand new avatar is meant for small people tiny face people or people with perfect vision yes he's, he, <laughs> exactly so this was oh, f oh yeah this video is sponsored by squarespace i'm sure they'll appreciate uh, all the swearing in the video that's just to cover it when you're not using it you didn't even cover it when you were <laughs> not using it <laughs> the good thing about fpvs is that you look the coolest person in the park i mean check this out or the opposite yeah, well, you can't actually see yourself, so it doesn't matter. In your own world, you're the coolest person in the park. So let's have a look at this. That's a battery. Just slides in like that. It's like a, it's like a skeleton. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can even see the wires there. <laughs> uh, that's not that cool. <laughs> um, it's almost like they, they're trying to make it more like an FPV drone. <laughs> sort of like as if it's just been pieced together but this is meant for sort of fpv noobs i'd say that's not what they said that's what i say the other one was big it's well not big but it's quite heavy i don't think you want to be a complete noob with that and crashing it although that does have uh, a complete um, noob mode so it's sort of like and you've got some emergency stop or something yeah I mean, you can fly the old FPV like a like a normal drone, but, that's but then a, that doesn't defeat the purpose. When you switch it to full manual, it's like whoa, and you don't want to be dropping that on anybody's head or flying that into anything because it's going to do some damage. This is is it um, better for lighter. dropping on people's head? No, I mean <laughs> <laughs> that's why we've got that's why we've got people here to volunteer. We've got volunteers and animals as well to uh, see if they shred and hopefully not with the prop guards. But um, let's not waste any more time and get going with the flying. Uh, agree. Track your activities. 
Uh, oh, well, not so fast then. So while I do this, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you want to set up a website, online store, or just get your own domain. Super easy to use, 24 seven customer service. Bish bash bosh, make a website. And a 10% discount if you use the word Kai. Boom, link below. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> I use Squarespace for my website that I never update. I've been meaning to for the last three years. I don't, I don't get a free website. I do, I am sponsored by them, but I pay for Super Broker Bros website and my own website. So, actual customer. Trouble linking to remote controller? No, why? Person holding remote control power for four seconds. Oh, oh no, I have, to use, I have to use this. There's a little touch thing here. It's like, oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> I need to adjust the diopter now because I haven't got glasses on. You can, you can adjust it out. Oh yeah. Oh. You got knobs under here. Yeah. So you can adjust the diopter and you can move it left and right, the little lenses inside to get, just in case your eyes are really close together or really far apart. And then people think you are picking your nose. Yeah. Keep your finger on the touch panel and swipe to try out some gestures. Uh, okay. Ideally this stuff should be done at home, but crikey, the list of stuff that you should do at home before you get flying is growing with every new DJI drone. Well, the first time I, I review Mavic Air, update everything, the firmware at home, and then when I arrive there, turns out I have to update all the batteries. I think I've done everything at home. <laughs> yeah, I, rem I remember, I can't remember what that product that was, but I remember having to do that as well. Battery firmware, oh no! Oh. <laughs> This, this video is going to be about eight minutes in before we, we actually start flying. This is eight minutes of my life, I can't get back. I know, sorry. But uh, anyway, if you want to set up a website, on this, <laughs> do check out a link below. You know, why, why do you need to update a phone with a battery? It's a battery. Yeah. It powers stuff. But it's easier to make a website in Squarespace than that. Especially with a 10% discount. Wow. In fact, it'll probably be quicker to set up a website then it then update to, all these yeah so we well. might as well do that now while we wait it's totally free free trial pull down to record boom there we are okay flight delay for so long it's like hero whoa oh the sound of it oh it can roll it's an FPV by name, but a different beast to other FPVs. Being a DJI, it has a normal mode which makes it fly, well, like any other normal DJI drones, just with a bit more roll action going on. It feels more agile. Oh, and it takes 4K 60p and it's got D-Cine-like. In normal mode, it will hover in the air just like any other regular DJI drone. Well, the prop guard, they mentioned that it's, it makes it Fast? Uh, no, no um, better battery life. Really? Because you think prop guards will be uh, extra weight to it. It should impact uh, battery life, but in maybe because it wrap around the propeller to make the it's like a Dyson fan or something. So at the end of the video, you will do this again in manual <laughs> mode. Manual mode. <laughs> in addition to the FPV controller too, there's this motion controller too. So this controller, is it that you, it sends your tilt? Or do you? I think so, yeah. Tilt controller up or down and press accelerator. Aircraft will ascend or descend. And then tilt left to right. Cause this really looks like, I mean, uh, flying an uh, aircraft. Fighter jet or something. Ooh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is really fun actually. In this mode, you know, this will still hover. I mean, it just hovers there. And I can just move the stick around like this. I can tilt it, tilt it, little flick of the wrist to tilt it. Make it go round and round. And you just press the trigger, and you just press the trigger to go forwards. Boom. <laughs> so 
so now you're still in a normal drone mode? Yes, normal, normal mode. When you're using the motion controller in the DJI Goggles 2 view, there's a little circle to show you where you're pointing it to. Okay, well let's change the mode, shall we? I think the mode button is here. That's sport mode. Go, go, go! Pull up, pull up, pull up. Using the motion controller feels really intuitive for manoeuvring like with tight turns because you can do both roll and pan at the same time. With a regular drone, it requires three stick actions, forward, pan and roll. This makes it agile enough to do FPV style turns. And then here we go, do a flyby. I don't know, I got my fingers up. <laughs> yeah, it's quite intuitive using the control stick. It's probably easier to use than, say, using the, the controller. It feels more natural. It's a different sort of control. It won't go sideways nor go straight up and down. I mean, with, uh, it makes it easier to get it into it because, I mean, that was literally my first time using the controller and using this. It's, it's, it's really easy. It's almost like an arcade game, you know, Afterburner or whatever. Yeah. But that, that was proper old school. You kids won't know what that's about. Last but not least, it's time to fly full manual. Party time. <laughs> we just find out um, you need this controller for fully manual mode, ammo. You can't use this for, this is the motion controller. You can't use this for ammo. So I've recalibrated it. The button under button customization, you change this little switch here to manual mode instead of sport mode. Now I've I never flown uh, FPV before. I just look at some YouTube video on how to fly uh, FPV. It turns out it if you are an airplane geek like me, the controlling is almost like an uh, Airbus. When you roll it, so you roll it to like 10 degrees and you release the stick, it will keep on that 10 degrees. But then to stop, you have to roll it back to level. Because normally when you fly a DJI or whatever drone, you press uh, right, it go right, you release the stick, it stops. But FPV, you have to stop it yourself and you have to level it back. Yeah. Uh, are you in that ammo? No, not of course. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be that good. Is there anybody around apart from us? Uh, no. It's quite far away, there's a okay. old guy, but. Oh, manual modes. Switch to manual mode. Use the control stick to move the cursor to the green line. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. 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 Ah. Break, break, break. FPV noob alert. Uh, uh, there is a steep learning curve going from N mode to M mode. Should, um, probably should land it. <laughs> it's landed by itself. It's crash landed. Can, did you see where it went? Um, there. <laughs> oh, okay. Unfortunately, there wasn't any footage from the drone of the actual crash, just a phone screen recording, as there was a little bit of confusion about the recording function. Goggle storage, I think. Well, how do I record with the goggles? Uh, I think there's also a record button on here, isn't there? Is that the record button? Uh, yeah. That's the record button. Okay. No, what? So what's that recording from? As there was no instruction manuals for this prototype, because I do read manuals, yeah. Confused.com. <laughs> it's not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. I think there is actually a website. There's, there's, yeah, there's an actual company. Oh, okay. Hashtag not an ad, but if you do need a website, or actually I already did that bit, but you can see how quickly it lost control. See how I blame the machine and not myself? I thought, I thought this is a path. No, it's just went in over there somewhere. Did it go in through there? Yeah. So we can still see it. <laughs> yeah, still on. I'm not gonna go because my legs are gonna get stung to fuck. There's some plants with 
spice. I even I've got. We usually like proper tough nuts, but today we were beat by a blunt. Luckily, a hero came to save the day. We got we we randomly bump into a fan, and he he offered to help, and he just find it. Oh wow! Thank you so much. <laughs> Did you get wet? A bit. <laughs> oh no. Oh man. Oh look at him. <laughs> and and because of that, that's the day that he stops following us. <laughs> Antonio, you legend. Big thank you. Get us a shout, mate, and I'll treat you to coffee, clean socks, and ten percent off your first order for building website. Can I try? It? Yeah, you can. <laughs> you can try it. I've got years of experience on flight simulator. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. I'm not sure does it make it any better. Thankfully, the avatar is built to take bumps and clumps out of the earth. It's tough, like us. Still, maybe I should hand it over to Locke because he's had hours of flight time experience playing Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, how do you do recording though? Just press record, the record button there. Right, spot mode and manual mode. Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. Yeah, oh, never mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not easy. <laughs> but we practice <laughs> and more questions. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess that's what the prop guards are for because this is <laughs> making it. They, they kind of accept that as a beginner, if you're getting into it, you, you're bound to crash it. Because I've tried the app, I've tried the virtual FPV flying. It's still difficult on that, but it's, it's, it's different when, when you actually, you're flying this. <laughs> Is it similar to the flight simulators? It's really sensitive, I think. Yeah. So one stick is for... I think this stick is kind of like a joystick, like tilt forward and back. This is to roll it, and then this one is for photo, and then raw, which is panning. Okay. From the YouTube tutorial, like when you first start, um, don't do the raw yet, don't do panning yet. Only master hovering using the power and then the, the joystick. First mission, just hover it and not question it. <laughs> And on that note, shall we try? Yeah. So take off with normal mode first. This time Locke forgot to hit record, so all we've got is this phone screen recording again. Shame. Anyway, second attempt. Spot mode and manual. Whoa, whoa. That's quick. Normal, normal mode, normal mode. Again, spot mode and menu. Okay, battery low. Whoa! Shit! 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 <laughs> normal mode. Normal. <laughs> it's, it's really quite hard. Now, I'm kind of steady. Now I'm I, I kind of hovering. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, go up, go up, go up, go up. It's kind of diff. Whoa. Actually, we, we probably shouldn't pick this bit because the ground is not level. It tricks you. <laughs> All right, I'm not actually. I mean, not really hovering, but I'm, I'm not crashing it. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Low battery, return to home. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Oh, right, 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 right. 
Did I land? No. I mean, no. <laughs> low low, low low. Oh, okay. Yeah, too low. Landing. It's not pretty, but uh, I didn't crash. How was it? It's really, yeah, more difficult than, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was more difficult than I thought. Yeah. I think uh, we, we're probably too ambitious to think in this video we can do uh, fly it. It turns out, I think even for hovering, it takes a few days of yeah. practice, I think. I mean, I guess that's the, that's the thing, isn't it? You, you see a lot of FPV videos online, you think, wow, that's so cool, but it's a totally different uh, way of you know, controlling it. You can't just let it hover there. So, but I guess it's a nice way to get into it. This, at least this is not as heavy as the previous FPV. And less if dangerous. Anything goes wrong, you can, you can quickly switch it to normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did it a few times there. Like, oh shit. That's it, that's it for today? I think so. <laughs> there's not much, I don't think there's much, not, I don't think we're instantly going to get on, you know, by putting another battery in, we're not going to get instantly better at FPV flying. But I think that's it, isn't it? It's just something you have to keep keep going, keep keep at it. Was it fun? Yeah, I thought it was fun. <laughs> there you go, FPV, fun. Check it out, DJI, FPV, thing, avatar, and Squarespace. And Squarespace. Confuse.com as well. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> Not sponsored. I'm going to check out what Confuse.com is. DJI's previous FPV being a DJI was seen as an easy way into the world of FPV flying, but I think that the avatar is more suitable for FPV noobs. Still, the learning curve is steep. The gap between normal mode and manual mode is still enough that people will fall into that gap at high speed. In an ideal world, having some clever in-flight guidance to fill that gap would have been sweet. Anyway, you could just get the drone, goggles too, and motion controller package and have a hoot. Or go full on with the FPV controller package and try FPV. But either way, at least that with it being smaller and lighter, with prop guards, it's a better drone for crashing into stuff. Although I never thought I'd say that. <laughs>